Last time on Metaphor Refantasio. Uh, really nice, actually. I, I am absolutely not old fashioned or stubborn. He didn't even finish. <laughs> ah! You think we should maybe wash our clothes before we, you know, rest for the night? Like, I'm just saying, you know, we probably got some warm juices still on us. Then again, they eat worms here. And they treat us like worms. Which, well, that doesn't make any sense. That means they'd be eating us. But point being, Martira. Time marches on, we were like this. The new king now, I'm thinking we're like this. I can't tell you which uh, finger I had pointing <laughs> I dreamed we were being chased around by a horde of giant sandworms. I barely got any rest at all. I hope Heisme behaved himself in the Gauntlet Runner. We should go check on him later. Yeah, that's a good idea. I mean, he is like a high-ranking, high-skilled knight. We also need to get some information out of Barden. But how do we even bring it up? I don't even know. Just like, say we don't have him yet. Like, you know, that should always be our bargaining chip. Are you awake? Have a Oh no, something happened. Harden <gasps> just sent word. A few children disappeared in the night. But then there you go. He's me. It's not he's me. That's Wait, but Heisme's in the gauntlet. Oh yeah, I keep saying he's right? If he's still bound there, that basically proves he's innocent. But if he's not, we need to get to the runner. Quick. If he's still, you know, under duress, we're good. That means they're full of crap. But then who's stealing the children? Oh my god. Oh, whoa! Uh Okay. Where's Stroll? Speak, man. Are you alright? Where's Heisme? What happened here? Oh, he reeks of alcohol. <laughs> Nurus, you old sot, don't tell me you drank yourself to sleep. Uh, well, uh, Heisme was blathering on about some things I found rather unnerving. What? So I, uh... A little sup of the spirits to calm the nerves. What was he talking about? Wow, what a mess. I don't think he's gonna remember. You witless. Maybe some cold water will wake you up, and if that water's not fixed yet, you're really in it. What? What? She. Oh, all oh, right. The w water in the gauntlet runner. Ah! What? What's happened? But oh, it's good. Okay. No, what's all the commotion? Or were you in the restroom? <laughs> Ah, oh, that was it. He kept scaring me, so I stuffed him into the lavatory ah. to shut him up. Oh my god, that's so mean. He says that like it makes sense. Does it make sense to you? I mean, it makes sense he's in the bathroom. Then again, it must be hard to wipe if you can't move your arm. Uh, well, uh, does he drive like this? Yeah, no drink, dr no drunk driving, Norris. He doesn't drink and drive, does he? If you dare touch a single drop on the road, I'll toss you off the runner's back myself! Anyway, one thing's for sure. Heisme was tied up the whole time, so he never set foot outside, right? What's all this about frightening Nurus? I cannot imagine you suddenly felt compelled to share ghost stories. What if he did? I heard some strange sounds last night. What? I could tell they were footsteps, but not any I recognized. Wait, so you actually heard something? It's not a joke. If it had anything to do with the disappearance of the residents, it could prove my innocence. That's why I spoke up. I don't think he's lying. With all that fog, I couldn't find the source of the footsteps, but I found plenty of something else. <gasps> Children's shoes. You're joking. It was after midnight. No time for children to be out and about. I had the shoes checked at the guard station, and it looks like they belong to the missing children. Then it is likely those footsteps belong to your true culprit. But the guard said no one left town last night. Then it's... it's gotta be something else. Nobody left? But that must mean the culprit is... Wait, still in the city? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> the culprit is... Definitely still hides me. <laughs> Are you daft, boy? <laughs> I've not even been outside your water closet, let alone skulking about in the wilds. So the real culprit is hiding somewhere in the city. If that's the case, I'd like to talk to Barden, but how much of this should we share with him? If you ask me, it's time to lay out all you know. Taking me with you might help your case too. Right, yeah, the more people we have on this, 
Let's not get ahead of ourselves. What? No, really? To bring you before the very man responsible for the bounty on your head. I trust I need not illustrate the risk. Oh my god, yeah. Unless Heisman just doesn't care anymore. He's being reckless with his life. Risk or not, the real culprit's likely one of their own. If you hide me, they'll accuse you of harboring a known criminal. It's not like that at all. Dang, Heisman, you're just... <laughs> strong and smart. Unlike me. I'm just strong. You all had it right. It's time I faced reality. A life on the run leaves no room for me to truly mourn my son. Heisme. Whatever the case, let's meet with Barden. Hello. Well, I must say I couldn't have hoped you'd capture him so swiftly. <clears throat> Something wrong. <laughs> you don't look well. <laughs> Got a face like you've just stumbled upon a dead man. No, it's nothing. Just surprised you caught him. Yeah, yeah, totally. Maybe it's Morris. What are the... Ch I mean, he is the one that sent us there. Aye, you have my thanks. Clearly, we were right to trust you. You'll get your payment in full. Before that, I want to ask you one question. Why was Heisme the only suspect in this case? Hmm? One of the guard witnessed him firsthand. Oh. Go on, Morris. <gasps> tell him. It was you. On the night of the kidnappings, I spotted a Ujif bolting into the wilderness. Several times. No mistaking a squat figure like that. Dude, are you serious? It could have been anything. I'm telling you, what are the chances of there being two Ujif brigands in the area? A, a pretty good. Oh, I don't know how common the tribe is. Hmm. What did you say? Wait, so this is all based on assumption. God dang it, Barden. You didn't ask him this before? Strange. I don't recall the kidnapper's tribe being listed on the bounty poster. Even the captain seemed surprised, yet you alone knew this. He's obviously our culprit. Most strange. Heisme was already in our custody yesterday. In other words, the kidnappings of last night cannot be his doing. Is this true? Captain, I'm one of yours, aren't I? You're not going to trust this little red-eyed bastard over me, are you? There's also the testimony from the guard at the gate. He reported no one coming or going from the city. So it's an inside job. We got you dead to rights, Morris. You, you scabby bounty hunters think you can mock the guard corps like this? Just take your damn blood money and get the hell out of here. Fine, fine. Keep your hair on. We'll get to the bottom of this eventually. Is there a problem here? Barden, may I interrupt? Um, no problem, ma'am. I'm sure she wants to see this too. Her guard screwing up. Wait, what's that look? Was that? Oh, he heard it again. Did you hear it, lad? Uh, can't say I did. No, I didn't hear anything. Now I see your game, you fiends. Huh? Oh, he can get out any time. He's gone. What? Heisman, find him. Oh, secure the exits. Don't let him escape. Heisman, you you gonna clue us in on what's happening here? Oh, well, we look like idiots. No good. He's nowhere to be found. What's gotten into Heisme? I got the impression he sent something. If he'd meant to escape, he would have done it yesterday. I think Barden's innocent in all this. The real scumbag here is Morris, his second in command. Oh, I mean, what does Morris have to gain from kidnapping all children? He framed Heisme with a false eyewitness testimony. Must have figured an exiled Ujif would be a perfect scapegoat. So Morris... A would-be guard of the people has been kidnapping the residents and selling them off. Could be. And there's also those footsteps that old Heisme heard in the night. Nurus is bound to have sobered up by now, right? Let's see how things are outside and get back to the runner. This is cool. Like, a... Hey. Are you coherent yet? <laughs> I didn't take you as the sword to fall so hard into your cups. Ah, well, an icy bath like that would freshen anyone up. Oh, the water's running, no way. And tell us again what happened last night. It may be our only clue to tracking down the real culprit. Ah, oh, bloody hell. Yes, it, it's coming back a bit. It wasn't just Heisme's reports that shook me. No, I saw something. Come on, out with the, enough theatrics. What was it? It was right after I slung Heisme into the bathroom. 
out the window, I saw some massive shadow moving through the fog. It wasn't any beast or man of this world. It was a dark messenger, I tell you. A spectre from the very bowels of hell. So a human. It was like the horrors of every fairy story from my schoolboy days sprung to Stygian life. I was shaken, chums, shaken to my core. I cried out for help, grabbed for something to steady myself, and all I found <laughs> was the bottle. Oh, I see. Is that enough to get him off scot-free? I don't know. There, there. You're all right now. Even if there is some monster behind this, how would it connect with Morris? I don't see why he would be compelled to hide this to the extent of framing Heisme. True. Let's try investigating the lady's old castle. Heisme's bound to have a reason for bolting off like that. Maybe it's still in the castle. Ooh. I mean, it is a pretty big castle. I'm curious. You know, we only saw one room of it. Are we allowed back in? Eh? Oh, sorry. <laughs> the game's been voice acting so long, I forgot. No good. They said they haven't found Heisme yet. So they can't remove the blockade from the gate. Sounds like he's got them on a wild goose chase. Fine. What are our plans then? Shall we just sneak in? <clears> Ho <throat> oh, there! Ho oh, there! Mm? Hmm? That sounds Evidently. like... Just coming from over there. Is he calling us? Why not just walk up and say hi? How weird. We're about to get backstabbed. I'm calling it. Oh, what? Uh, maybe not. Huh? What is... Why is Heisme with you? The guard at the gate said no one found him yet. Good to see I... I am the captain of the guard. And I have a responsibility to the truth. To know and uphold it. That's all this is about. What folly. Oh my god, I've not prepped for this. Could have avoided all this. You just locked my head off to start with. What bores a lot of you? Why'd you run off so suddenly? The truth is... I did some investigating inside. The moment Lady Ioana cracked the door to the room, heard the sound of a child scream. You're kidding? No! <sighs> she... Lady Ioana is... Well, she is childless. Whatever you heard, it cannot have been her own family. No child could get in to such a heavily guarded castle unnoticed. Your kidnapper has to be within these walls. Hmm. My money's on Morris being the weasel. He lied to our faces, trying to get us to walk into a human's jaws. That's absurd. Morris. No, that's absurd. <sighs> I cannot suffer him to kidnap any more innocent children. Please, will you help me put an end to this evil? I have nobody else to turn to. Yeah. Of course. After all, we can't use your head for the competition. We need to replace him anyways. We're in right- Oh my god, how could we- How could we back down now? I'm in your debt. <laughs> god. So. so cool. I genuinely didn't see this coming. This is crazy. Seemed to us like no kidnapper could get victims into the castle on our watch. Not under all our noses. Then. There's an old underground tunnel that even the castle guards did not know about. And Aizme, the man who found it. There'd be plenty of places to hide hostages down there. Morris may not know about it as well. Right under the lady's mansion. That's bold. Okay, let's get to work then. Is that right then? Should be able to get there from Blind Well Alley. The end of... Oh, that's that one place we got blocked off. I see. I've got to return to my post. <sighs> but I'm counting on you all. Dude. Okay, can I just go in the party, right? <laughs> He's clearly fam. All well leading to an underground channel. Isn't that... Everyone's already headed to Blind at Well Alley. We can get there by following Cattle Rocket Road. Let's go there when we're ready. We're going tonight. Like, tonight, tonight. Okay. Uh, I doubt the shops are open, unfortunately. So, let's just head it. Uh... Oh my god, what is with that music? What the crud are we about to get into? Let's go. I can hear the kidnapped children screaming underneath here. We must help them. 
You know what's crazy about this game? I thought... I thought Heisman was John DiMaggio. <laughs> and I'm like, oh goodness, don't make it him. For those who don't know, that's the voice of Bender, Finn the dog. Not that I don't love him, it's just... You can't impersonate that guy. Patrick Warburton? Sure. Hey, Peter! Anybody can do that. This is more manageable, though. That's all I'm getting at. Uh, you know, I need some time to you know, like, listen to him and figure it out. But uh, we'll, we'll get there. We'll get there. Did not expect there to be an underground channel. It is no wonder traces of the kidnapper couldn't be found. The children are beneath. Let us hurry. Say less. Is this the place? So this is the entrance to the underground channel. If Morris is the culprit behind all this, he's probably looking somewhere ahead. Let's go in. If we catch him with the children, he won't be able to talk his way out of it. Right? Do we need to change up our party? Nah, we got this. Maybe a couple more spellcasters, but eh, we'll be fine. It's the old well that Bard had mentioned. Should be able to get down the underground channel from here. Ready? Kidnapped children should be in here. All right, you ready? Let's go. Let's hurry. We must rescue the children. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> Thought you know slide down with the rope, but nope. He's just ready to go like Mario. However. Ooh, this is cool. I mean, it's cool as a. You know, technically, this might be a sewer level. <laughs> Can't uh, give it praise quite yet. Wait, someone's here. Like, human footsteps? God, him on reconnaissance must be insane. Heisme, you just keep getting cooler and cooler. There he is. Come on, get the bait moving already. If that thing goes out of control, we'll be dinner. Wait, bait? Is it- Oh! No! You can't run from us! You- oh, I got him. Please? Oh, no! I mean, yes, but no! The child yet lives. Out of your jurisdiction now, aren't you? You're trespassers down here. And that means anything that happens to you is your own damn fault. Hey, that goes both ways, buddy. If you've got something to say, say it to our faces. Even you must feel the weight of what you've done. Eyes up. Something stirs in the back. What the heck could it be? If not a human. Oh, my, oh, and wolves. I didn't see them. Ew. Are these the monsters we heard about? Huh? No. Further back. Tis the footsteps in the night. Does it sound like waves. What the heck? The bigger that beast back there grew, the more its watchdog started changing with it. One of them's gonna make a million. What has been happening here? Why do you kidnap the residents? Why? Because premium bait's worth a fortune. Couldn't they live on the wages of a guardsman forever? You kidnap children for money? You utter scum! This from a bloody-eyed you chief! Look to your own sins, sir! You were just stripped of your knighthood. You were exiled. You're a coward who's been living in the hole you deserve. Didn't pretend you can play at justice now. You foil! No, it is true in part. Is why I stand here now. I ran from my past and turned away from my pain. You prey on innocent lives. Your sin will be repaid. Yet I cannot condemn you alone. Not when I could not see past my own suffering. Not when I locked myself away to be alone with my pain. O oh, Lodestar, hmm? who falters in memory, O oh, thou anguished traveler, Thy long stagnant stance have finally been broken. Now choose thy path. Choose? Hm. My choice is already made. Here you go. You can't erase your past. All you can do is take it in hand and reshape your future. Thank you. Thou hast chosen a noble parting. O oh, Lodestar, whose light reveals the King's own path, awaken! <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, he's not- he's not ripping his heart out! <laughs> Maybe not yet. Oh, there we go! Right on cue! <laughs> God dang. Proportionate to his body size, that thing's huge. I am Heisme Noctul. I believe the arc of life depends not upon birth, 
By these hands, soiled or sinless, I fight! Oh, dang. The thief! Oh my god, look at it! So cool! <laughs> Let's go! Doesn't matter what you did, man. These guys are scum of the earth. We'll figure it out. Apologies, but I cannot do this alone. <laughs> hey, we're cool with this. <laughs> go! Rip them apart! <laughs> My three wolves! That, that, they're really tiny, actually. Doesn't have that much confidence. Oh, God! <gasps> Let's do it. About god dang time. Four press turns, baby! Morris, you will not escape me! Out of my way, fiends! What's going on? He just started fighting with us. And even he awakened to his power. A chance tis through your influence that this power passed to him, Captain? Oh, the crud I did, but okay. Oh, is this what Moore was talking about? Young man, you seem the most adept with this magic. I will strike at your direction, if you might spare it. Rest assured. I once stood among the Shadow Guard, and the years have not dulled my edge. Let's see what he's got. He's got some darkness and phantom tracer. Okay. Steel, rare item. Higher the agility, higher six. So agility actually does have a purpose in this game. So cool. I mean, we gotta, we gotta try it first, right? Like, why the heck not? Come on, homies. That's what you got. Okay, what? Uh-huh? What? In the name just of sat on him. <laughs> I don't know what that is, but I liked it. There's no way these. Oh wait, they're tougher than they look. Oh never mind, they often died. Okay, well. <laughs> don't know why I always make that sound. The physical party has finally assembled. Why was he? I mean, it doesn't matter. It does not matter. There are bigger fish to fry right now. But genuinely, what could he have done that is comparable to these guys selling off children? May they die in hell. Oh my god. Whoa. He's a ninja. That's sick. I like that a lot. I have no idea what these guys are weak to, though. Hellhound suggests they would not be, you know, resilient to fire. Oh crap. No, that also was fire. Oh, what? Alright. Guess I'm wrong. Whatever. Heisman, you got us? Wait, no, it's not Heisman's turn yet. I'll just do that again. F it. There we go. Might as well see... Ah, uh, we don't really need to forget anything. Let's just steal real quick. Why not? Uh? Okay. Okay. That's cool. One damage, though. I guess it is kind of a trope when you don't have a thief in every single party. Well, maybe not. Every single game, but... The games I pulled off, I think, are pretty cool. Oh, my God. So, Brawler's still unparalleled. My cutscene kind of messed me up. He's like, you are out of magic. And I'm like, ah, not exactly, but it's kind of our role in the party, I guess. <sighs> now get out of here. Stop! Wait, no, we, we should probably take them. Aw, oh, crap. I don't think about that. Damn! The bastard got away. But the children are safe. I mean, you know, report what we saw to Barden. Good. You saved them, Heisman. You know that I used to have a child of my own. My son. He was killed. I could not even protect my own flesh and blood. Who could call me a knight? Since then, I've wondered what I had left to live for and found few answers. Oh my god. Is that why you lived in such a dangerous place? That you might be... We need to chase down Morris first. He said something kind of weird back there, didn't he? Uh, he said a lot of stuff back there. Regarding the watchdogs, he said they gradually turned more horrific the more the monster grew. Do you think that's the effect of the melancholia? I expect anything further in will be even more malformed than... But why root all this in the basement of the lady's own domain? Clearly, someone is invested in Morris's efforts. But who would finance this? I got a pretty good idea. I can't say for certain. Oh my god. Still, from the very beginning, this has felt beyond the realm of any sane, moral person. And to think this started as a simple bounty contract. We've set foot in something far bigger, I think. Yeah, I think I think we deserve a little more than a hundred thousand <laughs> Reeve after this. Jeez. 
Let's get these poor youngsters back to Baden for now. Yeah, yeah, this is top priority, but you know. I'm, I'm, I'm just saying. Then why would the lady sell sure. all of her tra- I don't get it. What's her motivation? After saving the children, I can expect my support from the townspeople to grow. You saved the wee one's lives. We can't thank you enough. No, we just did what had to be done. I know this is difficult to hear, but Morris had a hand in this the whole time. He confessed as much to us. Aye. I found out the man's been struggling to pay off all manner of gambling debts. I'll round up the guard and search the whole bloody castle for him. I'm sorry, but I'm afraid you'd be outmatched. However, it would be a great help to us if your guards could prevent anyone from leaving the grounds. Considering everything, I can't help but think the Lady Joanna's got to be in on this somehow. But the woman is a respected sancturess. Besides which, she's the one who funded the initial request. Yeah, but if she was working with Morris, then she really had nothing to lose. Because it's a wild goose chase. I'll tell you this. Hard as we've looked, we can't find a sniff of Lady Joanna herself. What does that mean? I mean, that could mean anything. We're here for our own reasons. Whoever we find down there, we're not going to stay our blades. Any objections? None for me. Do as you will, and I'll trust in Lady Joanna's innocence. Indeed, for all we know, the culprit may be holding her hostage. Right, totally. In order to break the prince's curse, I'll need to make an impression during the tournament. I must accomplish something that would catch Luis's eye. And you know, I mean, they say this monster down there grows and grows. Might be a good reward. Besides, I think we're the ones who can handle getting to the bottom of this. And we'll do it. Not just for ourselves, but the town as well. I too have a score that needs settling. I cannot let these atrocities continue. Especially not in my name. I know, right? You're exiled now this? That's some bull. I believe in you. Oh, finally. Finally. <laughs> a fourth prester. <laughs> Eyes me. A traditional warrior burdened by his past. Considering we're due in Oceana in a matter of days, we've little time to tarry here. Wait, da days? Days? Excuse Our me? foes may be strong, but they're also trapped like rats in the basement. We'll use the old well to get in and out. I guess there's no time to ki like, kill. Like, we gotta go. I left Heismate calm down a little in the gauntlet runner, as he wished. Decided to return to the inn with everyone else. Poor guy, man. What it, What happened? Also, yo, you got any information? For, you got an update? Uh, nope. Jeez. Joanna's absence troubles me. Tis true that there's a monster nearby. Then we've not a moment to lose. Though it still remains to be seen whether she knew the guard corps were involved. I mean, someone had to have the idea. I want to give her the benefit of the doubt, but realistically, ain't looking good. Also, I'm super happy I stockpiled uh, magla. You know, don't mind me. I'm just going to knock all these. Huh. They look kind of like strolls. Actually, no, they're pure white. Interesting. This is the seeker, then. So be it. It's long past time I learned to wear the power I've been given for a world where all may live in harmony. Oh. Well, I see the number of archetypes you've studied has grown. I'm very pleased. How about a treat? Thanks. I'm going to keep him on Thief just because, like, the last dungeon. Right. Then they give you no archetype. Right. You're probably going to need it. Let's inherit some magic, though. But yeah, having a agility-focused character, I think he works masterfully for that. The thief itself, let's see what it eventually learns. Plunder life and plunder- Oh, <gasps> plunder magic? Oh, that's big. That's real big, but yeah, most likely we'll run into a lot of enemies that might need to be taken down with darkness. As crazy as that is to say, but now he has darkness and light, so it's pretty good coverage. Oh, whoa, when I get so many of these? Oh, snap! All right. I guess, huh, should I use it all on Thief or maybe get like a secondary for him? What else would benefit from agility other than the warrior? Because the warrior also has that one skill, you know? 
where it's like, yeah, yeah, critical strike. That might be really good, especially if he goes first in battle. Okay, hold up. I'm cooking, dude. Heisme, trust me, bro. Oh, wait. This is... This is taking a lot of resources. Oh no, I use all of them, but I got it. That's what's most important. Now we put that on the thief, then we're good to go. Maybe because so much happened, I'm finding it hard to sleep. Maybe go back to the gauntlet runner and read in the evening breeze. Uh, oh. Can't sleep, lad. Hey, what's up? As it happens, I'm a bit restless myself. That a novel there? Don't see many carrying those around. Bit of an odd question, but what's your real aim as a group? Good question. Wow. I mean, I don't want to keep him in the dark. He's been, well, a huge asset so far. We're just a no. Let's just say it outright. Like, yeah, we're on a we're on a secret mission. To tell you the truth. We're a secret organization. Will, why'd you make it sound like you're, you're joking? Really? <laughs> well, you are not very organized for an organization. Why do you think secret organizations start? Come on. When was it built in a day? In any case, suppose it's not my place to ask. Oh, wow. Don't worry, lad. Just water. <laughs> After what happened to Nurse, I don't know. Didn't look too fun. Back where I grew up? There was nobody like you lot. Just you, Jeeves. We've never been accepted by other tribes, and tis no mystery why. We're nocturnal, we look worlds apart, and there's so few of us. Not enough for any political sway. Our elders only ever thought of short-term alliances, loyalties changeable as the wind. We relied on their power, not ours, and resigned ourselves to that. Oh, I loathed it. Even as a child, I hadn't been cowed into considering myself lesser. I honed my skills that the city's majority might accept me, and I'll not say it was fruitless. I was accepted into the knighthood of the royal capital. I felt like my fellows and strangers alike accepted me as an equal. Fool that I was. Wait, did something happen? I mean, obviously, but... They never really wanted me among the true knights. Just in the Shadow Guard, where my deeds were dirtier and kept secret. Equal and lesser in the same breath. Psychologically, that must do a lot to somebody. Just to be daily reminded that you'll never really be enough. Due to aspect, like, you know, things out of your control. Oh my god. Heisman, tearing up. Ultimately, once my superiors realized I wouldn't abide their self-serving orders, they stripped me of the title I'd fought for. And little by little, I lost everything else. My son died. I'd failed to protect him. And despite everything I felt, I'd resigned myself to being powerless. Just like the damned elders I'd hated so much. But you know, you lot have helped me realize something. I'd thought for a long time that if I wanted to feel accepted, instead of being the eternal outsider, I'd need power, status, some mighty patron nobody could defy. I wasn't really looking to swear myself to some superior. I only wanted not to be alienated for who and what I am. I just needed Allies. Friends. Is that why he joined the Knight like Brotherhood? It's just... Yeah, maybe he wanted just a place to belong. And from now on, we're friends. <laughs> a free spirit, are you? It'll be my pleasure, then. The aloof hermit, Heisme. Within him dwells the virtue of the thief. Nurture thy bond with him, and a new power yet slumbering within thee may awaken. As odd as it is to make a thief sound virtuous, you know what? In this guy's situation, it makes sense. Subterfuge and everything. 
every king needs, you know, someone that needs to do the spying and stuff. I can see it. But seriously, I'm just touched. Like, he's gone this long in his life and realized, wow, I did all that. And in the end, I still couldn't protect what I wanted. I'm gonna shut up. Let's get the job and start the job. Rescue these kids. ASAP. If my boy was still alive, he'd be about your age. Though he'd look absolutely uh, nothing like you, of course. Yeah, 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 but you know. <laughs> Long as we're both awake, might I have a look at that old novel of yours? I was hoping you'd ask. Probably won't make sense out of order, but here we go. Another page. Oh, no, hold on, maybe. So, this is a fantasy novel. This section seems to describe the Utopia's approach to discrimination. Let's see here. In this world, discrimination and inequality are forbidden by law. It is a sin to impose injustice due to one's appearance, lineage, or birth. This is the accord established between the people and the state. Well, well. What a world that would be. I don't imagine our land will get there for another century or five. But it could happen. Not for us, but maybe our kids. Still, I cannot help but wonder whether those ideals would please an entire population. Probably not. I mean, tribalism is such a hard thing to combat. You cannot pretend it's diversity without acknowledging individual differences. Some will be judged as strong, while others marked as weak. Equal competition doesn't mean equal footing. Their very aims of freedom and balance could spell doom for the striving weak. I wonder how we might ever achieve a true utopia, where everyone could be happy. If this awakened power is meant to be wielded in service of my beliefs, then no matter who calls it naive or foolish, I will always use it to save the weak. It sticks to his ideals no matter what. It begs the question, you know. Heis may arrive at this point because, of, yeah, he was persecuted and hated on. He has that type of lens. If we do achieve a true utopia, will people forget? And we're right back where we started. Hmm. Anyway, it's getting late. Go to sleep. Enough of my preaching. What am I? Ford and no. <laughs> Just. Gosh. All right. I gotta actually not pro Oh, well, look, he's at the table. We're a big happy family now. Excellent. We're all here. So. Today, we will explore the depths beneath the castle. Use caution, so we have monsters and mores to contend with. You don't think we can handle this yet? We can go somewhere else and build up strength first. Still have time to prepare if we need it. It's in your hands. Indeed. I've only just been introduced to these new powers. Regardless, I have leave the matter in your hands, Captain. Thank you. <laughs> we powered him up enough. I mean, as long as there isn't a level discrepancy, I think he's good to go. Then again, there is... Okay, we have... Tw oh, we got 12 days? The cutscene made it sound like, oh, we have like, we gotta be at the new town, like ASAP. So the mission is in the alleyway. Beside the ch uh, challenge of the castle, you can also strengthen your party doing other missions. That sounds like a good idea. Really? We need to head over to Blindwell Alley. From there, we can investigate what's going on in the castle. Say, lots of stores have sales. This might be good to shop. Yeah, yeah, good timing. And <gasps> you! Okay, yet again, we shop, then we worry about him. Listen here, turd. You actually managed to get the ring! That is impressive. I took you for talented, but you're more of a gem than I thought. A gem? Anyway, don't forget your end of the bargain. Oh, of course. I already looked into it, in fact. I could get your dagger back right now. Well, you yes! Well, Do it! Come with me then. All right. Stay hidden and let me do all the talking. Greetings. You're Mr. Helliant, yes? I'm here on behalf of your father back in your hometown. You see, he's collapsed. It's that frightful illness that... What? Oh, you weren't aware. The truth is... This is... E I mean, he stole, but like... Well, this illness requires a very specific herb to be treated. One native only to Virga Island. Now, if the travel expenses were taken care of. Uh? What? So he's conning this guy? The man who stole the dagger. 
seem to completely believe Kukuis' clever story. Just the dagger, then. I'll make arrangements to procure the herb. Then you can take it to him. I don't... I don't feel good about this. I recovered your dagger. Though he had given me the clothes of his back, if I'd asked. Figured you'd not approve of that. It's a lie, by the way. About his father being sick. But his town's so far away, he'll be long gone before he finds out. <laughs> anyway, here. You're... I mean, at least you weren't in cahoots with him. I guess that's fine. Thanks a bunch, dude. <sighs> Wait, what? That made us more popular? How? No need to thank me. The efforts you went too far exceed mine. You have no idea of this ring's importance to me. With this, everyone will finally be free. Huh. Uh, free? I appreciate it. Oh, nothing truly. I thank you. And to show my thanks, please allow me to help you. I can see it already. You're the real deal. The one truly fated to be our next king. And I can see, too, that you will need my winning strategy to do it. Lying. Hang on. Your winning strategy is smooth talking. I don't think we need any con artist training, dude. <laughs> now come. Deception is more of an art than you know. I have something of a knack for what you see. You're kind, honest, to a fault, really. And for an upstanding chap like you to become king, you'll need some versed in darker, grayer areas. Someone like me? Be that as it of may. course my guidance doesn't come without strings. <laughs> this is business. You'll give me information about the places you visit, trends in the tournament, and the royal magic. Whoa. I mean, if that's all you want, that's not so bad. <laughs> Now we're talking. In that case, I need to let you in on one thing first. The truth is... My real name is Alonzo. Oh, thank God, because Kukulis was so hard to say. Anyone calling me Kukulis is one of my marks. Best you forget the name altogether. What? What is with this guy? Two names. Jeez. We moved to a tavern, where I told Alonzo all that's happened so far. Then as we parted ways... Remember those winning strategies I mentioned? Well, the first lesson starts now. I imagine you've led a rather rough life, considering the tribe you hail from. The world is full of unsavory sorts. That's why if you want to improve your life, you must never show a scoundrel mercy. If you're made a fool, you must pay it back in spades. What do you mean by that? Kindness is weakness and the weak get robbed blind. I'll keep that in mind. Regard this not as the art of deception, but rather how to steal hearts. The morally sound way, of course. Oh, of course, yeah, yeah. He's not trustworthy, but he does seem clever. Maybe I could use Alonso's tactics in Battle for the Throne, which are- A wise choice. Alright, see what you got for me, Alonzo. I can sense no small amount of trust and anticipation from Alonzo. He's benefiting a lot from this, I guess. Oh, well, the back to back. The devious schemer, Alonzo. <gasps> Within him dwells the virtue of the faker. Nurture thy bond with him, and a new power yet slumbering within thee may awaken. I... The faker, huh? Okay. I assumed you were but a momentary distraction. Wonder what? But there's more to you than that. Goodness. The faker, what the crud could that do? We already have a thief. I, you know, I, I thought, in all honesty, that's what he would give us, but I'm glad to be wrong. I'm so curious. Uh, oh. Wait, what? It looks like a clown. The dump? Maybe he is one. Who wears the crown next matters little to me. But if it's you, I wager it'll be quite a ride. I'll be heading to Brylehaven after this. Let's meet again there. Uh, wait, it's just actually a clown. Possesses many skills that lower opponent stats. Oh, dump, that's what we need, bro. Oh, it's, it's like the perfect debuff machine. That's almost too good to be true. Has a chance of triggering auto dodge and overall combat. Faker's roguery. Oh my God, so much MP. 
chance of inflicting forget on one enemy. Turn icons added or removed at random? Ah, uh, okay. And looks like perfectly even stat spread. That's kind of weird. I... <laughs> this is the most, like, out-of-the-box one yet, but, you know, we gotta get it, I guess. Because I need Rakunda. I wonder if it's one of those things where it's, like, genuinely an awful archetype to have, but right if you get it, you know, right. the benefits are huge. There's something similar in Dragon Quest Three with the, uh, well, actually, not really, but I think it's the, uh, Gataboat. It's just like a joke class, but I'm counting on you level you. it up all the way you get handsomely rewarded. Johnny, stop spoiling the other games! My bad, but I'm just saying. So what my reminds me of. I hear the voices of past heroes. I mean, is this even a hero? So this is the power of the Faker. A fascinating power that befuddles enemies. Are there a lot of heroic clowns I'm not aware of? There's a lot to test out. And even have fun. <laughs> okay. Oh, and that's what we use the knives for. Gotcha. That makes sense. Do I want this on everybody, though? Well, everybody could benefit from Rakunda, just like with Tarakaja. I don't know what Hulkenberg's gonna say about this. I see. She's a little bit of a joker. Our foes shall not know what hit them. Leave it to me. Woe to all foes that fall victim to my ruses. Be prepared, one and all. <laughs> She's such a... <laughs> not gonna say stick in the mud, but straight shooter. It's hard to imagine. Oh my god, we have so many of those items now. That's huge. Cost us a lot of mag, but everyone now has every class unlocked, and as a result of that, more of these silly little items to you. Oh my god, I have 15. That's huge. First priority is getting at least level 10 is. mage on Hulkenberg, because I, you know, I really don't want to like actually have her in that class. But to get to the next version, go. right, of the knight, we're eventually gonna have to get that. Now that's five down. What should we spend the rest of the 10 on? Honestly. If we cap out the warrior, that means he can just straight up go to the next thing, right? Actually, I don't know if that's true, but you know what? He's helped us out so much. It makes sense this should be the last mastery. Oh, and every time you... Oh, I think every time you complete a class, you level up a main stat. Interesting. Oh, crud. I just spent all my mag. Can we take him to the next? Oh, we can't. Yo! First level two class! Let's go! Seven thousand... Oh. That's a lot of mag, but it's totally worth it. Goodness. Unlimited power! The soul of the warrior! Incredible. This is the power of the Swordmaster's soul. Say that five times fast. I'll show you swordplay like you've never seen. The blood that flows through my body. I will fight my battles as a noble. A noble that admittedly is armored to the teeth, but you know. Admittedly, round slash eats a ton of MP. And he has 28 strength with that. If we switch to this, he has 32. Okay. Yee. Was that even worth it? Maybe we did that too soon. Oh, wait. We can sneak a peek at the level. Oh, what even could this be? What are those shoulder pads? Oh, my God. Is he a rhinoceros beetle? Excuse me? Wait, what are these abilities? Concentrate. Unwavering blade. Regenerate. Sturdy. Oh, my God. This is too cool. So I guess whatever this is, is very, like, AOE focused, which is interesting. you think that'd be more of a mage thing. New archetypes unlocked, and a new dungeon awaits. Next time on Metaphor Refantasio, we get to the bottom of whatever the crud is going on at the bottom of the castle. Whoa. Speaking of bottoms, do you remember when we ran out of an anus? Anyway, thank you so much for watching. See you next time. More videos coming soon. Bye.